attitude, my friend? Yes, I'm going to talk to you again about attitude. Uh, why is attitude uh, so important? Because uh, the type of thinking and mindset uh, that you'll have on a daily uh, basis in your uh, everyday life will determine uh, the outcome, will determine, will bring uh, certain results. If you keep on having a stinking thinking attitude, a negative attitude, then you shouldn't expect uh, your day to be great. You shouldn't expect to have in, uh, much joy or happiness or gladness, even though you could be financially successful, even though things in your life are overall above average. But because of your your negative attitude or your stinking thinking, as I like to say it, uh, that uh, all, all of that won't matter. All of that just won't uh, bring you enough joy, uh, happiness, gladness, and satisfaction action you'll be miserable so today you know as I talk about our attitude I want to focus primarily on taking risks why it's so important for us to take risks in our life without taking any risks you're gonna always remain in your comfort zone you're gonna always remain in your own or I guess if I can use my name as an example you can always remain in the stand zone that you know this is my comfort zone uh, I know where I'm at uh, you know I, I don't want to be taking any risks I don't want to be investing any money I don't want to be making any new connections any new networking any new friendships or maybe possibly stepping into a serious relationship however it may be and the thing is when we limit ourselves uh, because of just our wrongful attitude and perception concerning uh, who we are uh, we could limit ourselves from some phenomenal open doors and from, from some uh, uh, phenomenal uh, open opportunities that could make you much more financially successful that could uh, connect you with some great individuals in your life that could totally uh, open other doors of other various opportunities and when it comes to risk-taking um, uh, I'm reminded of these two individuals one of them is Oscar Schindler and the one is Corey Timbo two individuals that were around the, the World War II era and two individuals that took a major risk by saying hey look uh, we don't agree with what's happening with the, with the killing and the persecution of the Jewish people and we're gonna protect and preserve them and you know both movies were made out of these individuals you can watch both of those movies I think the Corey Timbo one it's called the hiding place and with Oscar Schindler, Schindler's List, both phenomenal movies. And obviously both of these individuals uh, risked their personal life by protecting the lives of others. If they were ever to find out by the Nazi regime of what they were doing, they would have been literally killed right away, right on the spot. Uh, but they were protecting and preserved. So let me share just a quick uh, thoughts and a few thoughts concerning risk taking. Uh, taking risks will set you an adventurous path, which will, uh, while choosing to secure, uh, securing um, let me say that again. Taking risks will set you an adventurous path, while choosing to be secure will make you your life very dull. And this is very, very true. When you just follow any successful individual, doesn't matter whether it's a Hollywood star, or somebody in politics, uh, somebody who's very well known, recognized, or millionaire or they're billionaire, you will always see the pattern that they took risks. Uh, you, whether you have an opportunity to meet them face to face or to interview them, they'll, they'll say, "Hey, look, you know, before I became successful, before my product or my service." became uh, well known and recognized throughout the country throughout the world I had to take risks you know people laughed at me people mocked at me and uh all of those people have similar type of patterns that was very tough or challenging for them, but they changed their attitude and their perception by saying, you know what, I don't care what my friends, my family members say, I don't care what my coworkers, my neighbors, anyone around me will say, uh, I'm very passionate about this product or about the service or whatever it is. And by doing so, uh, they created a certain measure of adventure in their personal life. And uh, by them going through this certain adventure, of course, they created some excitement, but those people who choose not to take risks, their life is miserable and their life is dull that that's just a fact let me share another uh, I guess uh, concept uh, concerning taking risk uh, risk takers had their names engraved into history books while security makers came and vanished just like in the wind it's true it's been already a long time many decades since the passing of uh, Oscar uh, Schindler or Corey Tumboom but here I am uh, talking about them I've never met them personally, but they're in the history books. They did something so phenomenal that people are still talking about it. Uh, movies were made about them, references. In uh, the reason why I'm even quoting them because I, I wrote, uh, you know, an aspect concerning a life of um, the life attitude of um, Oscar Schindler and the life attitude, as I like to call it, of Corey Timbo in one of my books called "When Life Is Full of It," uh, concerning that we need to change our mindset concerning life, concerning ourselves. That in that particular chapter, I, I outline them. And has taken risks and by them taking risks they achieved greatness uh, their name was put into history books and the question is you know is your name going to be put into history books or is or because you chose a more secure path you're just going to kind of become part of the statistics you know uh, there's a big difference between risk takers and security makers and that's the question to you tonight 
do you want to be a risk taker or do you want to be a security maker? Uh, and th there's a big difference. You know, and as I wrap this up, uh, it's very important for us, my friend, that uh, you'll be surprised the fact that you have chosen to take certain risks in your life. And I'm not talking about foolish risks. You know, staying at the edge of, of a cliff and trying to take a selfie and risking your life, knowing that you could potentially fall off a cliff and, uh, and die. But you got the picture in the video clip. I'm not talking about that foolish risk taken. The question is, our world, our culture, our society will be better off because you and I chose to take certain risks in our life and because we chose to take certain risks in our life we became we had a major breakthrough it could be a breakthrough as an entrepreneur a breakthrough in your business a breakthrough in life uh, you could have a breakthrough maybe by, uh, by um, uh, through certain invention uh, maybe uh, through a certain discovery maybe through maybe a medical breakthrough whatever it may be and known because you took those risks now your product your service your idea uh, or you, your, your thoughts of uh, the book maybe you published the movie that may be released is now blessing others is now in a sense helping others out and because of that uh, the society has changed the world has changed the culture has changed and there, there's many different you know scenarios out of that why it's because you decide to take a risk my friend and this is very very key and very very important because a lot of times when we're just uh trying to go into our own secure zone uh just just doing you know well i don't want to lose money i don't want people to talk about me in social media i get plenty of that believe me uh but you know when you decide to be your own comfort zone well first of all you're going to be miserable you're not going to be achieving anything and it's not that nobody's not going to talk about you and it's not the whole purpose for you to do something so people will talk about you uh honestly speaking speaking about when it comes to others talking about you only those who get out of their comfort zone and take certain risks they're the ones that are talked about both in a positive and a negative way on social media on news networks on google and so on and so forth so it's not a question of just you know people talking about you not talking about you it's for us to get out of our comfort zone and take certain risks so they can uh, add value through whatever breakthrough we'll have in our personal life and at the same time because we took those risks now we're able to become an asset a valuable asset to our culture and to our society Society just as much as with these two special individuals like uh, Oscar Schindler and Corey Tumble. All right, my friend, hopefully uh, this made sense to you. Go out there and be a risk taker, not a security maker, and change the world or change, you know, your culture, your society in whichever capacity you can. And you'll be surprised that uh, one of these risks that you've been always uh, very worried and concerned to make, that it could be that particular risk that you take that will bring to the next level of breakthrough into your personal life, into your possible marriage into your family into your business and whoever knows possibly even to your culture your country your society your city or or even all throughout the whole world all right my friend until next time